Hello there everybody, this is Bird Power TV here and today I'm going to be doing a World of Warcraft classic video showing you the best in slot items for a DPS warrior. I'll be showing you all the best items for each slot along with a secondary option in case you can't find the best in slot one whether that's a drop rate or because it costs a lot of money. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first item will be the helm slot. So the best in slot is the Lionheart helm, which is created from blacksmithing. The way you get the recipe is it's a random drop from multiple sources. On the forms, people have been saying they've gotten them from uh, lot boxes and different bosses. So when this does drop, this item will probably sell for quite a lot of money on the auction house. The alternative is the Mask of the Unforgiven, which drops from the boss, the Unforgiven, in Strathome on Dead Side. So for the neck, we have the Mark of Fordering. This drops from a quest chain from Tyrion Fordering in the Eastern Plaguelands. And the quest in the chain is the In Dreams that gives you this neck. If you want a replacement, you have the Imperial Jewel, which drops from Emperor Farazan in black rock depths so for the shoulder slot you want to get the true strike shoulders these drop from the boss pyroguard embassy who is located in upper black rock spire for the second best option you have the wormhide spoulders they drop from a quest called a taste of flame which is from black rock depths so moving on to the cloak we have the cape of the black baron this drops from the boss baron rivendare in the undead side of strathome and the second is the Stone Skin Gargoyle Cape. This drops from Stone Spine in Strathholm on Dead Side as well. Okay, so the next slot is Chest, and the best in slot is the Savage Gladiator Chain. This drops from the boss Gorosh the Deverish in the Black Rock Depths. He's located in the Arena event. The second best is the Death Dealer Breastplate. This drops from the boss Doom Rail in Blackrock Depths. So for the wrist slot, you want to get the Battleborn Arm Braces. They drop from the boss Warchief Ren Blackhand in Upper Blackrock Spire. The second best item are the Van Braces of the Sadist, which drops from the boss Timmy the Cruel in the living side of Strathholm. Okay, so the next slot is the hands. And the best in slot is the Edge Masters Hand Guards. These will last you quite a long time, but they are a BOE world drop. So they're going to be rare and they're going to cost a lot of money on the auction house. So the replacement would be the Devil Sword Gauntlets, which are crafted by level workers. And you want to go for the set bonus as well with the legs. Okay, so for the belt, you want to get Bringam's Girdle, which drops from the boss General Drakaseth in Upper Black Rock Spire. The replacement is. Omakov's Girdle Restrainer. If you're on the Alliance, it drops from the quest Maxwell's Mission. If you're on the Horde, it drops from Warlord's Command. The quest is located in Lower Black Rock Spire. Okay, so for the legs, the best in slot is the Cloud Keeper Leg Plates. These are a BOE world drop. So again, probably low drop rate. You're probably going to find them on the auction house for a lot of money. So the recommended would be the Devil Sword Leggings which is crafted by level working and it also works with the gloves, the Devil Sword Gauntlets. So you get that nice little set bonus there. Okay, so for the boots, you have the Blood Mail boots. These drop from multiple mini bosses that are located in Scholomon, so you have a good, good chance of getting these. The replacement is the Battle Chasers Greaves, which is a BOE drop from Blackrock Depths. So again, you'll find these on the auction house. Moving on to the rings now, I have three options for you here, in case you can't get one of the first two. So the first option is the Blackstone Ring. This drops from Princess Faradras in Moradon. The second option is the Pain Weaver Band. This drops from General Drakisath in Upper Black Rock Spire. And the third is Mimadon's Signet, which is a bind on equipped world drop. So you'll find that on the auction house if you don't get it to drop. Okay, so next up is the trinkets. So three options for you again. The first is the Hand of Justice, which drops from Emperor Farazan in Blackrock Depths. The second is a Black Hand Bredith, which drops from a quest called General Drakisaf's Demise if you are on the Alliance, and a quest called For the Horde if you are on the Horde. 
And the third, in case you can't get one of the first two, is the Diamond Flask, which drops from a quest called Voodoo Feathers, which is from the Sunken Temple. So, have a look at the link in the description if you want to check any of them out. Moving on to the weapons now, for the main hand, we have the Iron Foe, which drops from Emperor Farazan in Blackrock Depths. And the second best is Dalren's Sacred Charge, which drops from War Chief Rend Blackhand in Upper Blackrock Spire. And moving on to the offhand, we have the Fell Striker, which drops from War Chief Rend Blackhand from Upper Blackrock Spire. And the second is Dalren's Tribal Guardian, which drops from War Chief Rend Blackhand in Upper Blackrock Spire. So you want to try and get the nice little set bonus for that 50 plus attack power if you can get both of the Dalren swords. So if you're playing as an Orc Warrior, you'll want to get axes for your axe specialization. So the first one for your main hand is the Axe of the Deep Wounds, and the second is the Flurry Axe for your off hand. Both of these are BOE will drops, so you find them on the auction house and you want to take advantage of that axe specialization. So if you intend on using a two-hander weapon, I have two options for you here. You have the Black Blade of Sharam. This drops from General Drakisaf in Upper Black Rock Spire. The next option is the Arcanite Reaper, which is a crafted weapon from blacksmithing. And the recipe drops from Banok Grimax in Black Rock Spire. And the last slot is the ranged weapon. The first is the Rip Hook, and the second is the Black Crow. Both of these items drop from Shadow Hunter Bosch Gajin in Lower Black Rock Spire. So if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching the video. All of the items are in the description below this video. All of them are on the Wowhead, so go below and have a look. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.